All right, so picture this. It's 1970. Atlanta's electrified, buzzing with anticipation. You can practically feel the energy, right? right? Yeah. Muhammad Ali, after years of being sidelined, exiled, he's finally back in the ring. But you know what? What's that? Tonight, we're not just breaking down the fight. We're going deep, really deep on this new series, Fight Night, The Million Dollar Heist. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Okay, so imagine this high stakes heist, right? Mm -hmm. But it's all happening while Ali's comeback is going down. You've got racial tensions simmering, the whole rise of Black Vegas. Wow. And we've got recaps of the first three episodes. Let me tell you, this story, it grabs you and doesn't let go. Well, you've definitely got my attention. Right. It's something else. It sounds like it. So to really get into it, yeah. the creators, they totally nailed the vibe of 1970s Atlanta. It was a huge moment for the city, especially for black Americans. You're absolutely right. This was a time of massive change, you know. So much ambition, a real fight for social and economic progress. And right in the thick of it, mm. Ali. Of course. This guy who was bigger than boxing. He became this symbol of black power, resistance, you name it. He transcended the sport. He was more than just a fighter. Exactly. The show doesn't waste any time. It throws us right into the action with Gordon Chicken Man Williams. Now this guy. Go on. He's a small time hustler, but he's got big dreams. You know, he wants to be a major player in Atlanta, especially with everything changing so fast. And they oh, yeah. And to prove himself, he's throwing this crazy lavish party after the fight. Yeah. He wants to climb that social ladder and getting good with Atlanta's underworld, the real movers and shakers. It's fascinating, isn't it? Because Chicken Man's story, it really gets at the heart of what so many black Americans were striving for during that time. What do you mean? Well, you've got the rise of a black middle class in Atlanta. There's this huge hunger for economic advancement, a chance to finally grab a piece of the American dream, a dream that had been denied to them for so long. You're right. It was a different time. And Chicken Man, he embodies that struggle. But he also shows us the allure, and let's be real, the dangers of trying to make it through the criminal world. Exactly. It's an age-old dilemma. Mm. The ends justifying the means. But then, on the other side of the coin, there's Detective J.D. Hudson. This is the guy stuck with the job of keeping Ollie safe. Talk about pressure. Right. The city's on edge, ready to explode, and you've got this underlying tension everywhere you look. But what really struck me was... What's that? Hudson and Chicken Man, they have a past. We get these glimpses of a previous encounter, some serious bad blood. It adds this whole other layer to their dynamic, you know. It's a classic trope, but it's done so well here. You've got Hudson. He represents law and order, right? Yeah. But he's also a black man dealing with the reality of racism in that era. So he's walking this tightrope, trying to maintain order, keep Ollie Sif. But he's also fighting his own demons. Uh, and his history with Chicken Man. It just adds this incredible depth. You're left wondering whose side to be on if you can even choose a side. It's brilliant. It's like they're two sides of the same coin, but the coin keeps flipping. Exactly. And as if all that wasn't enough. There's more. Always. Okay, lay it on me. There's this million dollar heist going down right under everyone's noses and the mastermind, some shadowy character named Emerson Dorsey. Now, this Dorsey guy... He's a real enigma. And to make things even more interesting, we've got Cadillac Richie lurking around. Don't tell me you're dying to know what his deal is too, <laughs> right? It's like everyone's connected, but the how and the why, it's still a mystery. And that's the genius of this series. It weaves together all these threads, mm -hmm. Chicken Man's ambition, this heist that's about to go down, the racial dynamics, and then boom, all these presents looming over everything. It's a pressure cooker just waiting to blow. And believe me, it does. Mm -hmm. Man, by episode two, round two, fight night, you can practically feel the tension ratcheting up. It's like someone turned the heat up to a thousand degrees. It's like a powder keg waiting for a spark. Yeah, and let me tell you, they light that spark with this flashback to when Hudson bust in Chicken Man. Oh, that scene. Yeah, and it cost him, get this, a chance to be there for the birth of his child. Oh, wow, that's rough. Talk about pouring gasoline on a fire. No kidding. That scene is crucial because it really gets at the whole power struggle going on, not just in the criminal world, but in society at large. You see Chicken Man, and he's desperate to prove himself, willing to take insane risks. But those risks, they come back to bite him. And sometimes those consequences are brutal, like life-altering. Absolutely. It shows that he's human, even when he's making choices that are, you know, morally ambiguous. And while all of this is going down, You've got the heist unfolding in real time. Did you catch 
how they planned every single detail. <laughs> it was like watching a master class in precision. Right. Those not guys it. were not playing around. Not at all. It reminded me of those classic heist movies, you know, the anticipation, the clock ticking down. But what I found really striking was how they set that meticulous planning against the backdrop of all this chaos. I mean, Ali's return, the racial tension, Chicken Man's ambitions. It was like a recipe for disaster. And you just know someone's going to get caught in the crossfire. Exactly. And that's what makes the death of Lena, that young woman, so heartbreaking. It highlights the human cost of this world, you know, mm -hmm. the innocent bystanders. That really hit me hard. It's a stark reminder that behind all the glitz and glamour of Black Vegas, the excitement of the fight, real people are getting hurt. And sometimes those lives are cut short just because of the choices others make. It's a sobering thought. And speaking of Black Vegas, by episode three, things really start to unravel for Chicken Man. His big plan to win over the Black Mafia, let's just say it blows up in his face. It all goes south pretty quickly. It's a classic case of hubris, don't you think? He was so fixated on the prize, the money, the power, that he completely misjudged the players involved. He thought he could just waltz in and build his own empire without understanding the rules of the game. Exactly. And this is where the show's exploration of power gets really interesting. It's not just about brute force or even wealth. It's about understanding the subtleties, the unspoken agreements, the potential for betrayal. And those betrayals can come from anywhere, right? Oh, absolutely. By the end of episode three, you're left wondering who you can trust. Seriously, Chicken Man's on the outs with the Black Mafia. His relationship with Hudson is more volatile than ever, and I have no clue who's going to come out of this on top. And that's the beauty of good storytelling. The writers keep you guessing, but more than that, they force you to ask the tough questions. Exactly. Like, will Chicken Man actually pull it off? Can Hudson somehow bring order to all this chaos? Yeah. And what about Frank Moten? We haven't even gotten to him yet. See, this is what I love about these deep dives. It's not just about passively watching a show. It's about really digging into the themes, the characters, the historical context. It's about engaging on a deeper level. You're right. Fight Night, it's more than just a crime drama. It stays with you, it makes you think. It's a story about ambition, about betrayal, about the cost of progress, set against this incredibly pivotal moment in American history. It's a reminder that the past, it shapes the present. And that brings us to the crux of tonight's deep dive. We've talked about the characters, the plot, the historical context, but what does it all mean? What are the big takeaways here? That's the million dollar question, right? And I think the answer lies in the show's willingness to challenge us, to make us confront some uncomfortable truths about ourselves, about the world around us. Okay, I'm listening. Give me an example. Take Chicken Man. On the surface, he's a hustler, a criminal. It'd be easy to judge him, right? But if we dig a little deeper, we see a man driven by this deep desire for a better life, a desire that's fueled by systemic inequality and a lack of opportunity. You're saying his story, even though it's fictional, it reflects a very real and complicated truth about our society. Precisely. Yeah. It makes you think about the choices people make when they feel like the system has failed them. Right. When the traditional paths to success are blocked, some people are going to look for other ways to get ahead, even if those ways are dangerous. Exactly. And then you have Detective Hudson. He's caught between two worlds, representing the law, while also being acutely aware of the injustices faced by his own community. It's like he's constantly wrestling with his conscience. Right. His internal conflict speaks volumes about the challenges of navigating a society grappling with racial inequality. And let's not forget the backdrop of Ali's fight itself. An event that transcended the sport. Exactly. It became a powerful symbol of black power, of resistance. And it reminds us that even in the middle of chaos, in uncertain times, there are these moments, these individuals, these events that can spark change. It can challenge the status quo. Yeah. And fight night, it captures that spirit. It shows us both the triumphs and the tragedies that come with those moments of transformation. This has been amazing. I love how a show can be so entertaining, but also make you think critically about history, about ambition, about the choices we make. It's a potent combination. But before we wrap things up, I've got to ask you about the title, mm. Black Vegas. What's the significance there? What does it say about Chicken Man's goals, about the allure of that era? Ah, uh, now that's a question worth pondering. Yeah. Well, you hit the nail on the head when you called it a loaded title, Black Vegas. It conjures up images of extravagance, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. The glitz, the glamour, the promise of striking it rich. It's all there. And for Chicken Man, it represents his ultimate ambition, this vision of a black-owned and operated empire, 
a place where he calls the shots, where he can rewrite the rules to his liking. His own slice of the American dream. Exactly. But, and this is a big but, there's this underlying current of tragedy woven into that dream. I get that feeling too. It's like it's all built on shaky ground. Exactly. The pursuit of Black Vegas, it's based on this inherent contradiction because it's still vulnerable to the same forces that corrupt everything. Greed, betrayal, you name it. The very things that shape the world he's trying to emulate. It's like he's trying to build something new but using the same old potentially destructive tools. Right. And that brings us back to that question of ambition and what it costs. Chicken Man's story, it's a cautionary tale. It reminds us that the pursuit of success, even with the best intentions, it can have devastating consequences. It can lead to ruin. Exactly. And it forces us, the viewers, to ask ourselves some tough questions. What are we willing to sacrifice to achieve our goals? What lines are we willing to cross? And are those compromises worth it in the end? Precisely. Those are the questions Fight Night makes us grapple with. And they're not easy questions to answer. Not at all. But that's the power of art, isn't it? It can entertain us, sure, but it can also challenge us, make us re-examine our own values, our own ambitions. This has been an incredible conversation. We've gone from the boxing ring to the streets of Atlanta, uncovering all these layers of history, ambition, and the complexities of, well, just being human. It's been a pleasure, as always, to explore these themes with you. And for everyone listening, we hope this deep dive into Fight Night, the Million Dollar Heist, has given you something to think about. It's more than just a crime thriller. It's a story that stays with you. It makes you question things. It prompts you to consider the price of ambition, the nature of power, and the choices we all make as we chase our dreams. And maybe, just maybe, it'll even inspire you to learn more about 1970s Atlanta, a city on the verge of transformation, grappling with its past and trying to create a new future. A city full of ambition, much like Chicken Man himself. And until next time, Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep diving deep into the stories that matter.